Well, good morning and happy Monday. Clyde's on vacation, but it is always a pleasure to have Allie Martin joining us today. Welcome, Allie. Hi, Mona. Ladies Day. It is Ladies Day. Yay. Hey, Allie. So how was, yeah. My, oh, yeah. If you're going to ask about my Thanksgiving, it was great. Yeah. Um, you know, I just want to remind people, this is day four. So according to the experts, uh, this is your last day to eat your leftovers or freeze them. And so let me tell you what I did with some leftover turkey, Allie. I was really excited. I made a turkey vegetable soup. Yes, and it was that is the best so, way. It was so good. And I mean, I made it from kind of scratch, kind of. Um, with, you know, some packaged vegetables and stuff, but it was really it, good. And it your looks thanks. Really good. Thank it you. Good. I was so excited because, you know, I don't really cook. So I felt really festive and in the mood. I, and I will say with the turkey leftover, I'm not a big turkey leftover goer, but I will have it in soup. And similar to what you did, my mom makes a mean turkey vegetable soup as well. I think it masks that, that turkey flavor. I can do turkey <laughs> on the first day, but not on the second day. And like you said, we're on day four and we're already one day away from December. Hence the new background. You might've noticed I have a, a little bit of a new yes. setup right now. We're Look going at that. Mode. Yes, it is you time to like, be You look like you're in like Macy's. I mean, this is just a beautiful <laughs> background. Your tree is gorgeous. Thank you, Mona. You know, and getting into this festive holiday spirit, look at this. So if you're looking to find Look Lodge. Now I came across this. They are the same owners, bar owners as Tokyo Kitty and Video Archive, who do a really great job theming their bars. And they're, they've created this miracle, uh, uh, miracle at the Overlook experience, which you can go and it goes till the end of the year through the holidays. And you can go and enjoy, make a reservation, and they have you know eggnog cocktails and mulled wine. And if you want to get festive like this Christmas tree. Check this out. I highly recommend uh, looking into the Overlook Lodge. And they're also on Facebook and online where you can make those reservations just to get into the festive holiday spirit as we move into December and finish eating our turkey leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, they are really decked out right? there. It reminds me, it reminds me this of the scene out of Elf where Buddy the Elf Will Ferrell goes in. But like you just basically sat in Macy's and cuts out all of the, <laughs> the snowflakes and hangs them all over the ceiling before Santa comes. That's what this experience reminds me of. Oh, it looks great. I hope people will take a look and take a visit. Well, here's another festive idea this holiday season. While holiday decorations are going up, why not add some fresh flowers into the mix? And when it comes to centerpieces and bouquets, Nobody does it better than Daisy Jane's flower truck. And to tell <laughs> us more, I want to welcome Megan and Sam from Daisy Jane's flower truck. Thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having us on. We're so excited to join you. Well, this is great. You guys got a lot of stuff going on, including a new addition to your fleet. And you set up a flower bar. Tell us about that. We did. So we are actually right inside the flower bar in Walnut Hills. We're right at 772 East McMillan, and we are hoping to be open by Sunday. So fingers crossed we get everything finished uh, this week and we'll be open for business just in time for holiday shopping. Um, but yeah, so we, we added a second truck this year. So both of those will be rolling around in the spring of next year. And in the meantime, you can come here to the flower bar and build your own bouquet, just like you do at the truck. We'll also have classes. We've been doing some virtual classes. And uh, we also have wreaths for sale and bouquet subscriptions uh, for the holidays, too. Okay, for the DIYers, you're going to show us how to make a bouquet because, you know, flowers are going to be really big this season. They are. So we already have a lot of our Christmas screens in. We're getting our flowers in, too, for the holiday season. So if you're going to be hosting any kind of dinner or maybe you just want something pretty sitting on your table for Christmas, Sam's putting her an arrangement together here. Um, and this kind of shows you some of the things we'll have here at the flower bar if you want to come and pick out your own item. 
and we can of course show you how to put these together. So what Sam is using is Oasis foam inside of a uh, little wooden uh, block and um, you'll put your greenery in first mm -hmm. and then Sam has some tips um, especially if you're going to be sitting around the table and this is going to be kind of your centerpiece um, some tips for for what to do and what to think about. Yeah so you need to keep in mind the shape of your table um, and you want to build according to the shape of your table and make sure that all your guests have enough space to eat and move around the flower arrangement. And you also want to pay attention to all sides of the flower arrangement so that there's not a back. Everyone's going to see something pretty as they're sitting around it. Absolutely. And you also don't want something sitting too high. Um, yeah. So you're, you know, when you're having conversations, that's not blocking your view. So yeah. um, you definitely want to vary uh, the heights of the flowers, some a little higher, some a little lower. That'll also mentioned too with uh with varying colors in the arrangement yeah it doesn't have to be all green red and white for christmas you can add fun pops of color that might match your decor or you can go with all neutral um which is a big trend this year it really neutral is neutral tones and lots of dried flowers as well so we, we like to play around with some of the dried flowers some of the things that we have available um, in store, we've got a lot of bunny tails and fun little dried products. These also, uh, they pair well with the fresh flowers and just kind of give a little bit of a different look. The dried flowers are definitely very popular this year too. And they last forever. They do. They're everlasting. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are beautiful. So let us know if people want to get more information or if they wanted to have you do all the work instead of the DIY way, <laughs> where can they get some information and pick up some flowers? Absolutely. So we'll be posting very soon about our DIY virtual classes. If you want to make an arrangement, uh, very much similar to this. Um, well, we'll be using some different flowers too, but we'll have our virtual classes up at daisygamesflowertruck.com. We also have wreaths for sale now. And uh, again, gift items, bouquet subscriptions, all that good stuff for the flower lover in your life. And uh, that's all available now right there on the website. Uh, you can also find it on Instagram and Facebook. It's just at, it, at Daisy Dean's Flower Truck where you can find us. All right, Sam, Megan, thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Allie. Those are beautiful. You are right. Thanks, Mona. Well. As a child, do you remember that feeling of getting a toy you really wanted? Well, there's an independent toy shop in Mainstross in Covington, Kentucky that will bring back all of that nostalgia. So skip the online shopping and come with us on a trip to Stoney's Village Toy Shop. You are in the lovely shop called Stoney's Village Toy Shop here in Mainstrasse. I was actually inspired by my grandchildren. Um, I wanted them to have really quality toys, and um, so I began researching, and here I am. Um, I gotta say that my favorite people in the world probably are children, and toys kind of come with that concept. Um, I actually put a lot of research into my toys. I want them to be, number one, interactive, um, educational, uh, allow for creativity um, and also um, I think it's important that the toys be simple complicated toys that have lots of bells and whistles normally do not require the child to do as much as a simple cardboard box for example they can have a lot of fun with a cardboard box as opposed to something that is very complex I have a lot of toys that would be considered heirloom quality toys that can be handed down from generation to generation. I have very few battery operated, again just re-emphasizing that if it's battery operated it leaves less for the child to do. I try to choose toys that can grow with the child that have multiple uses and they should be educational and um, a lot of toys are labeled educational. But just because the label says educational doesn't mean that it is the child. Hopefully the child will learn by engaging with the toy, maybe building something or doing problem solving, uh, something of that nature. I have a lot of parents who come in and ask their children, you know, what do you like? And they, I'm always um, impressed by how patient um, the, the parents can be in terms of going 
to each of the toys and getting an input from the child and letting the child actually choose. So that's a nice thing that you don't get when you order on Amazon. I just want parents to know that this is a welcoming, warm place where um, you don't stand in line for a cash register um, and I'm always here to help you choose. And if and if you're looking to shop local this holiday season, you can find Stoney's Village Toy Shop in Main Strauss. It's open Friday through Sunday or by appointment on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Or you can check the store out online at stoneystoys.com. Mona? Well, thank you, Allie. Well, when it comes to a little indulgence, there's nothing quite like a big bowl of ice cream to hit the spot. Unless, of course, you're lactose intolerant or vegan. But a familiar name has come up with a great tasting dairy free option. I'm calling it a miracle. And to tell <laughs> us more, I want to welcome Rich Grader, the president and CEO of Grader's Ice Cream. Thank you, Rich, for joining us today. Good morning. Happy to be here. Thank you. All right. So tell us what this new dairy free option is and what flavors you have. Well, first off, it's technically not dairy free, it's dairy but made without cows. And that's kind of a, a little disconnect. People wonder, what the heck is that? Well, what's, what's important in dairy, what gives it that rich, wonderful flavor and texture are the dairy proteins, whey and casein. And the folks at Perfect Day have figured out how to use fermentation to make these dairy proteins. And so no cows are involved, but it tastes pretty much exactly as indulgent as our regular ice cream, just no lactose. Wow. Okay. This yeah. is all right. This is amazing. So you know, you amazing. guys obviously are known for your silky ice cream. So talk yeah. about how you searched for these uh, a partner, and you landed on Perfect Day. Well, we had tried various uh, dairy alternatives over the years, and nothing really met our our satisfaction. Nothing that we would be willing to put our name on. And I had read about this company out in California called Perfect Day that was experimenting with making real dairy proteins, but without cows. And so I, I literally went to Google, found their website and typed in a note, hey, we're a small little company in Cincinnati making ice cream. We'd love to uh, work with you. And they called back and it took several iterations for us to get the recipe just right. And the result is now in our stores and you can get it online and it just, it's amazing. So it's, it's, it's dairy proteins are what make the rich, luxuriant, indulgent experience you get with regular ice cream. And nothing else has been able to do that for us. But this time, we were willing to put our name on it because it tastes good enough to be graders. All right, Rich, why do you think releasing something like this right now was important? Um, well, part of the timing was it just wasn't ready until right now. But who we're targeting with this, of course, folks, uh, with lactose intolerance and I would hear lots of times from people oh gosh I'm lactose intolerant but I still love graters so I'll eat it anyway and pay the price later well now those folks don't have to pay the price but also what's been happening and I, I call it a mega trend is people are going vegan or plant-based and they're doing it for ethical reasons not really health reasons but for ethical sustainability green reasons and I think that's just the wave of the future so 50 years from now this might be what everybody does but um, we decided that if that was the future, we wanted to get when uh, start with that early and 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 see how it worked. And we are really pleased with the results. And so, if you're vegan because of uh, ethical reasons or lactose intolerant, Graders is there for you. We didn't want uh, those to be barriers to prevent people from being able to enjoy our products. Well, Rich, you have done me and so many people a great favor. I cannot wait to try it. So if people want to learn more, pick up a scoop themselves, yep. how can they connect with Graders? Uh, all of our stores have pints available in them now. And probably the best way to get it, especially if you're not in Cincinnati, is uh, www.graders.com. We are shipping them online like our regular ice cream. and. If this goes over well, I would think you'll find it in Kroger's and other stores in the coming year. I can't imagine it not going well. Rich, thank you so much for talking to us and for coming up with this great idea. Thank you for having us today. Allie? 
Mm, that looks awesome. And coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, if your smile is keeping your holiday from being jolly, we know someone who can help. We'll tell you about a whitening system called Love Your Teeth that uses technology to make those curly whites merry and bright. All that and more on the other side of the bridge. Right, well, there's no doubt that the poinsettia is the ultimate sign of the holidays. But if you're not gifted with plants like me, taking care of them may be difficult. So, what do you do? <laughs> We're gonna answer that question because we brought in Jay Nordenbrock from Bell Nursery. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay, for being here. Thanks for having you me. You have brought poinsettias so many of them and they look like so many types. So tell us a little bit about where, when it comes to picking out the right one, what should we do? Right, well to, I, today I brought all kinds of colors. I think it's fun to think outside the box a little bit, not just your traditional red. Um, but when I pick a poinsettia, I like to get the freshest one possible. And sometimes uh, people think that the color is actually the bloom, but mm -hmm. it's actually inside this. Oh. And if you, if you find one that's really tight, that means mm -hmm. it's very fresh. So that's a great when thing you say tight, you're talking about in, this, in the bloom of the... Right, that actual bud. If that's still, Those little if that's buds. still closed, that's really fresh. Oh, so. okay. So once you pick one out... How do you care for it? And, and do the different types have different ways to care for they it? They really don't. They're all the same. They're just different sizes. Okay. And so what I like to do at home, especially uh, temperatures around 68, 70 degrees, mm -hmm. which is everyone's typical house, that's great for them. I just take off this plastic, um, the sleeve on that, mm -hmm. take it over to the kitchen sink, and I let the, dr the water drain all the way through that. Okay. Uh, poinsettias just don't like to sit in water, so they have right. to drain thoroughly. Put them back in the sleeve, and then they're, you're good to go. So you don't need to repot these? You don't. In fact, uh, a lot of people ask me how to make them even more decorative. And mm -hmm. I, today I brought a little tin. We just put some yeah. of the smaller poinsettias in that. It right. kind of dresses it up. So, okay. But you don't have to repot them. They're ready to go. Oh, my goodness. So. All right, so how long are they going to last? Well, mine at home, uh, if you water them like that once a week, mm -hmm. they'll typically last between um, about one to two months. Great for the holiday season. So, And many people get them to last longer, but uh, really that two months is a great, great time for them. Okay, so what about uh, tropical plants? Like you brought some. We did. We brought some cactus. others today. Um, these yes. are more decorative. Uh, there's a mm -hmm. little evergreen that we uh, brought. Oh, nice. Great for hostess gifts. Mm -hmm. um, it really, water and care is about the same for those. And then also we have a Christmas cactus, which is pretty unique. I love it's, this. This is different than a traditional cactus. Yes. It's a tropical cactus, mm -hmm. so you do have to water that more than a. Than oh, a you do cactus. have to water them. Okay, yeah. so the it's not would, a free. Yeah. It, all yeah, right. It's not the kind to, that you don't have to worry about. No, you do right. need to. <laughs> show right. it some That's right. attention. You can keep the okay. soil moist on that one too. So. All yeah. right. And so then, where do you recommend having them around your house? Can you have? Do they need light? They do need light. Uh, quite a bit of light, um, or indirect in the house is fine. Mm -hmm. They don't like drafts though, so I try to keep them okay. away from the windows and the doors. Or the little heating vent. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Tell us where people can find more information, where right. they can find you. Well, well, we service all the Home Depot stores in Cincinnati and okay. Northern Kentucky, so we're really easy to find. Okay. So. Very good, Jay. Thank you. Thank Very, you. I appreciate all this. Very um, educational. <laughs> I hope you will to learn how to take care of them and make them last a long time because they will last a while. They do. They last quite a while. This, it's just a great indoor plant. gives a lot of color for the holidays. Okay. All right. So. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Considering the holidays are upon us, we're going to give you a surefire way of walking into the room and turning heads. And we're not talking about what you wear or those rock solid abs. It's going to be all about your smile. And to tell us more, I want to welcome Kathy Pedrias from Love Your Teeth here to tell us how. Kathy, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And you know what? It's not just about the physical room. It's also about walking into those virtual rooms, right, for a lot of events that we have online now. But as you said, you know, having that brighter, whiter smile is part of that first impression. And so what we've done here is we've digitally altered an image of a beautiful woman just to show you what yellow teeth can do to someone's appearance, right? And then now we've digitally altered it to have that white smile and what the, the kind of results that Love Your Teeth can bring you and look at the difference it makes to her appearance, right? In a simple image like this, I mean, she just looks more confident, warm, approachable. And so think about that because although we digitally altered this, think of what drinking coffee at home does over two, five, 10 years if you're not using a whitening treatment like this. And so you, this is kind of to mimic those results. 
And you're talking about doing this in 10 minutes. Most of us are used to strips and trays uh, when we want to whiten our teeth at home. So uh, how does this process differ from that? It's so different. First of all, it's not messy. It's something you can do in 10 minutes. A lot of those strips and trays um, require much longer treatments. So what you're going to do when you get your package, there's a little tab that you have to pull to get to the whitening solutions in the back. And then in the back, you have your capsules. You take the cardboard, you put that on the back of the capsule and you snap it and you're gonna actually hear it snap. That's because the whitening solution is kept fresh in a little vial until the moment you're ready to use it. Then you apply it to your teeth for two minutes. This is a swab part. Apply to your teeth for two minutes, gum line, in between the grooves, all the spot areas that you wanna get treated. And then you follow up with, this is where you smile, you put the blue light technology in your mouth for 10 minutes. Just set a timer on your phone and on average we're seeing results seven shades whiter in seven days. And you're talking about those coffee stains, tea stains, red wine mm -hmm. stains and getting rid of those so that your teeth will be several shades whiter, right? Uh, yeah, I mean all of these things build up over time. The coffee and the wine are some of the obvious ones but we may not realize that vinegars, tomato sauces, berries, all these things do build up over time or they wear away at the, you know, enamel on your teeth, making it more uh, susceptible for the stains to really set in. And so it's important. It's, it's just one of those things that we need to add to our routine, getting that whiter smile that you can be proud of. All right. So l let's tell folks, first of all, about your special holiday offer and mm -hmm. how they can learn more about Love Your Teeth. Okay, so of course we love a good deal, especially for the holidays. We're always looking for a bargain. So it's 30% off with the code LYT30 on LYTSmile.com. That's LYT for Love Your Teeth. So 30% off with free shipping and handling, and you're going to get the full treatment to be able to see your range in seven days. Wow, that's fantastic. Hey, Kathy, thanks so much for talking with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, be sure to make it a great day.